Someone asked me, how, how did I learn Azerbaijani, since there's obviously no schools in America that teach it. Although actually there is now in Washington, D.C., because Azerbaijan is now a strategically important place, and they have diplomats and all that, so they have it now. But anyway, uh, I didn't learn that route. I had to be self-taught. And uh, someone was, was uh, making the mistake of admiring me for that, because, as if there was some talent there. But it's not, it has nothing to do with talent. It has to do with motive. I went to Baku in 1989 and met a young lady there who didn't speak any English, and she, we loved each other, so I had to learn how to speak Azari, just to know that I loved her and want to marry her, come to America, and we'll have children, and so she did. Right, so we have, we have... Pardon me? No, uh, I, um, I went there as a guest of the government in 1989 because I had written them a letter telling them about my interest in Azerbaijani culture. And they said, oh, well, by all means, you know, come and visit us. So I did, in one of those lucky moments, I met someone, and that's why I spoke, that's why I learned to speak Azadi. Up to that point, you see, all the Azadi I had was the text of the love song, so I had a kind of a good start. Were you a musician? You were a musician, When I first... Uh, when I, when, at what point? Well, I, I first met a, an old man from Dagestan, a neighboring province near Azerbaijan, who played this instrument. And that was in 1972. So I studied with him and he passed away in 1987, I believe, yes. And so I was quite upset about that because I loved him and also he was my teacher and I wasn't anywhere near finished. I'm still not finished, of course, but. Anyway, I, I needed a new, I had to get another teacher. And there, was, there wasn't any in New York. This is it, so I figured I'd better go to Baku. So I, that's how that happened. Maybe everybody knows everything about me now. <laughs> everything that's important. In Azerbaijan, you know, they have this thing, they say, where are you from? And for some reason, uh, the, the men have this tradition of telling people that they're from where their wife is from. So it's a joke, like, if you say, where are you from? Go, I don't know yet, I'm not married. So, <laughs> so, my wife's parents were born in a, in, a, in a region called Karabakh. So now when I go to Azerbaijan, I say, people say, where are you from? I used to say, you know, from Philadelphia. They say, no, Karabakh, Leon. And he said, I'm from Karabakh. <laughs> That's my wife's parents. <laughs> my in-laws. Okay. No, so, another love song. Actually, why don't we sing, this is so appropriate, it's called Azerbaijan Marali. And a Maral is a is like an antelope, a deer, I translate. Maral is like a, a Maral Jadon, it's these are like a, like a deer, an antelope. The idea is that they have very big, liquid, beautiful eyes. And so I'm singing a song to my uh, my beloved who is like a Jadon, like a Maral, she has beautiful eyes. So we call it Azerbaijan Marali. <laughs>
Azerbaijan var ol. 